guess we. Oh, there's an energy bar. I'm gonna give it to Clementine. Oh, no. Yeah, let's give it to Clementine. Let's talk to her first. See how she's doing after hey all there. that. Hi. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. I guess I'm not Is being he okay? Arguing. Yeah, I think so. He's fine. You're doing a good job. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. Oh, you're hungry, Clementine? Oh, let me just... So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. Uh, being good is good. Despite the circumstances. Yep. Yep. We'll sit tight. Okay. Here. You said you're hungry? It's not much, but here you go. There you go. Thank you. Of course. So Carrie Clementine. I like seeing that. Alright. Um nope, can't go this way. Just talk to punk ass Larry. How's it doing? Bossy. I'm not Lily. sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I heard. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. Well, you shouldn't be fucking yelling at us and shit. What think do about you all think this? about all this? What is there to think? The <laughs> dead are up yeah, walking around, up. eating people and turning them into more, more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's, He's got, got a temper. temper. Ah, fuck you. Yeah, fuck yeah, you do. He doesn't mean it. It's does. just that... Yeah. We got, got kids, kids here. here. Family. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. He's not, but that temper of his Where's her mom? got his heart acting up. Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. Are you from here? You're I don't from think here? You are. Are I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. No. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah. The owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. No! Alright. Let's not go in there yet. Let's get an energy bar. Duck. I'm pretty sure Duck is filling. Over right here. It's just done? Yeah, it's here. We can't make it. It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. It's all melted now. We still eat it. Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Cat and I, Appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. What's the plan now? What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. 
Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? I'll tell them. Hey, they're the homies. They, uh, own this place. They, uh, pulled some bodies out of the office before we got here. They're, uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. <laughs> that's pretty, that's pretty sad. I, I probably shouldn't have said that around the, uh, around Duck. But let, let's ask him how he's doing now because of it. He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How is she doing? She's a trooper. She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty, it fast, happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed Sean. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Words of wisdom. Try to let it go. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Wait, isn't that stuff here? Mm -hmm. Spooky doings? I don't remember them very well. Greeting cards. Oh, shake. No, all the way I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead cards. Way to make a joke, Lee. Way to make a joke. There's more photographs. Where's the family? R.I.P. Lee's family. It's on here. Let's try it out. The IT guy. What's, uh... There's only two of them, right? Looks Some like bucks. nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. All right, Carly, let's see what you've been dealing with. Um, maybe the volume's not up. Huh? Power. Mm, nothing. Nothing. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, let's load that antenna up. There's no batteries in this thing. What now? There's no batteries in here. Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. You liar. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Uh, batteries? That's what you look for. <laughs> or did you say where to look for? There's a difference. Just 
have some batteries. And, uh, there's no batteries on the ground. Is there? Oh wait, there's a battery. Give me that. You want any batteries over here? Glide. Battery, battery. Get in the office. Oh, it's another energy bar. Who else is hungry? Um, I don't remember where the battery. Try to get some rest, hun. How can I with those things out there? Okay, maybe there is no battery in here. Maybe I find it somewhere else. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I honestly don't remember. Okay. Um. Let's just hand it this This battery. battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. That's one. Hope you know how to work batteries. Let's talk to this guy. What's up, Doug? Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Well, then let's have a look sure. around. Let's go have a look around. Cool, and we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. You are the homie, Doug. comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Damn right, we keep it down out here. How'd you end up here? Well, I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Can't reach that brick. <laughs> Can't reach the brick. Let's fidget with this. It's a combination lock. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. What keys, man? What are you talking about? Any idea where the pharmacy keys might be? We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. They weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. Are you okay? I'm fine. If the keys aren't in the drugstore, think they could be out of here? We now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility, so... Right. Sorry. Do you think we're safe here? Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. The drugstore is safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and locks up well. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Ah, <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, that's all I know. 
Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Look at the one trapped over there. Every better hit on this. Oh shit. What? Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. Could Man, be anybody the fuck you know. Can you? Not can he? What the hell? Leech. <laughs> Shut up, Doug. Yeah, shut up, Doug, man. That's my brother. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. All right, let's, let's go back inside. I found this remote in the office. I haven't been in the office. What? What is this? I'm skipping stuff. <laughs> I didn't grab that remote at all. I had to miss you know what the I office. could do. What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Well, I kind of skipped the I've whole part I've got a few of them there. to take notice. We prove that that guy worked here, and then we can try to clear the street to search him for the keys. Yeah, probably easier said than done. What's Dude, there's so much like to say there? right here. Oh, well, Carly's pretty nice, you know. <laughs> yeah. Lily doesn't take any crap. She's been running the show, keeping people on watch, things like that. And her dad... Yeah, that guy. He's kind of a dick. Pardon my French. He is a dick. Don't worry about it, man. Those things like TV. Or at least the sound of it. If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. Alright, well, let's go back inside. It's like a go in the office. Let's head back inside. <laughs> okay. Apparently, I got a remote from the office already. I'm skipping whole things here. <laughs> I probably should. That's funny. I gave you a battery. So, uh. Let's get for that energy bar. There you go. Here. I wouldn't find it some stuff to eat. Oh, um. Uh Thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. Yeah, I already gave her an energy bar. I gave her the first one. Go in this friggin' office, man. Oh, wait. Anything you Did I say it? Everything okay? Mm-hmm. Yep. The pills are in there. Obviously. Alright, let's go. Office where I got the remote from, but uh, 
First aid kit. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. My pants came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Protect her, at least. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Yep. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you wouldn't have. My dad gave it to me. See, Dad's just smart like that. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not crazy about it either. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. Hmm. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble, in them, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. My thing was dripping pretty quick, though. I'll find you a bandage. There's a band-aid in there, I bet. Oh, good. Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. I already grabbed it. There's like no need. Let's give you the band-aid. Wait. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? 
I'm gonna keep looking around. Lee, okay. I hey. asked you a question. Okay. They'll uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. Well, we should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Must there be a remote in here? Yeah. Dude, they must have. Uh, they must have. Um, it's the remote to that my in dad's or TV. I don't know. That's crazy. Let's try this. Just to try it. That's what I figured. Are on that zombie out in the street. He said zombie. Find anything? Professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? <laughs> Why are those For your options? sake, I hope the answer is no. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. You killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? <laughs> oh my god, my options. Yeah, there. it was. <laughs> I and keep getting the same two options. had to protect yourself. That's right. <laughs> oh, okay. Did it like glitch or something? What is going on? Did I glitch it when I went to talk to her before she asked that question? I don't know. All right, well, I got the thing. I didn't get the other battery, apparently, right? It's two batteries. Let's try the... I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big, stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever. This is Lee. What's up? So I'm down at that motor inn and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, uh, 
I saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got to jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped out at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Let's find this battery. I... How do I not find the battery? I feel like it's in here. Or do I find it out? I'm thinking too much about this damn battery. Can I see a battery anywhere? Battery, you here? There it is. Alrighty. I'll just give her the battery and then. I don't think I'm gonna leave just yet. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Well, let's check it out. Hey, Carly. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. <laughs> How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom over. Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. Still busted? It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Carly. Stupid, you don't know how batteries work and stupid radios make me do this stupid thing. <laughs> Let's see. Check the batteries. Well, what'd you look at that? They're flipped over. The wrong way. There's a freaking thing down there. How'd you miss that, Carly? How are you a reporter? Not normal. It should work now. I gotta flip this thing over. Flip it over. Volumes up. No, no, I, I lowered it. Put the volume up. And then, voila. As the unknown you fixed it. continues to spread unchecked, the estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full. Uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Oh God. No. No. Hey there. You okay after hearing that? That radio sign off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. Really? You're really fine. Dead? All of your colleagues are probably dead. You don't think I know that? <laughs> of course I'm not fucking fine. God, Lee, just leave me alone. Um, yeah, I'm not leaving you alone because uh, we have to head out. So, um, yeah, I'm I'm sorry for <laughs> for saying that, but we have to go like now. 